Hello everyone. If you want to help support any of our humanitarian efforts here in Cambodia, uh, we educate students for free, uh, we feed people and sponsor part of a village, uh, we go out and do animal welfare and it's only possible because of your donations. So if you want to help, all you have to do is simply go to any of the links you see on your screen. There are also clickable links down below and every donation matters. You'll be put on my list to receive exclusive videos, pictures, updates, books, and more. And you'll also get a shout out. I appreciate all my supporters. Thank you very much. What's up, guys? Going for a little walk, <clears throat> pick up some things at the market. We'll go down uh, some of these alleys by our new place. Take a little shortcut. Well, I guess I had to get to the market, the food market closest to us, the local market. You don't even have to get on the main road. Because we have all these alleys, which is off our alley. <laughs> and we can get there that way. If you're looking for a house, here's one for sale. Apparently, sale or rent, I'm not sure. Don't know if it comes with the property or not, but it's just sitting here empty. Looks like it's been empty for a while from the condition of the little garden area there in the, on the side. Got some graffiti on there. But if you're interested, there you go. All those numbers. Yeah, it looks like there's some, there's a chicken. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are looking for a house, you want to buy it, call that number and uh, work something out. I'm sure they are open to negotiations. Here we have something called the uh, Marie Stopes Clinic CM Reap. I'm not sure what it's about. Because it's in Kamau. <laughs> Really gonna have to learn to reach my one day soon here. But we also have the uh, yoga meditation center. I bet you can't guess what they do there. This way, that way, this way. Okay. But for all my smart subscribers, they do yoga. Never gotten into yoga. If anybody has any experience with it, uh, let me know. I do like meditation, though. When I get the chance, it's uh, very peaceful and calming. I, I bought a, or downloaded a book, rather. I didn't buy it. I downloaded a book for beginning meditation. I've never been too much of a new wave, a new age, I mean, kind of guy, crystals or <clears throat> yeah, any of that stuff. But I always try to maintain a positive mental attitude. And sometimes we all have days and moments where we feel overstressed and burdened mentally. And I found that uh, 
meditation helps. Unfortunately, a building here has been destroyed. And over here, I guess we're not going to our local market. But out here is the main road, Kamai Pub Lane. And further on, it turns into Kamai Pub Street. Ah, we're right here beside our uh, little restaurant I like to eat at, right over there. Here's something that's pretty creepy. No, nothing like <laughs> those little creepy child mannequin dolls with their dead staring eyes. Not a fan of dolls. They freak me out, man. been watching back uh, well Sung Lai has been watching some of my older videos from way back before we met man makes me really thankful for this gimbal I have no idea how the channel got that far with that kind of a uh, when I had my GoPro there was no stabilizer in it uh, didn't have a gimbal very very shaky often lopsided when I filmed I noticed that the, it would be lopsided hold on I gotta get past this music due to uh, copyright reasons all right now that we're past that um, in my last video I did at the uh, that two dollar store downtown they had some background music playing very quietly while I was talking over it but apparently enough was heard where, uh, where uh, the the owners made a copyright claim on my video, which I am now in dispute with. <clears throat> because it falls under fair use. It was just background noise. That's one of the options they give us for fair use if it's not being used as a main part of the video. So I'm just waiting for YouTube to tell me I won because they will or at least they should I wasn't even aware of it when I was in there <laughs> but when I uploaded it I immediately got the claim that's all right though We're going uh, back out to the village. Either tomorrow or the next day. Going to try to bring uh, some of those toys I, I was showing you in that uh, $2 shop. Give them something to play with, a couple soccer balls, base, plastic baseball and bats, some dolls for all the kids. Ooh, good stuff here. Here we go. We have some good stuff for you. Hello. Big old water bugs, it looks like. These are my favorite, though. Crickets. I love these things here. These are really good. Looks like we got more crickets over here. Yeah, these other ones right here. Yeah, those ones. Good stuff here. You can go ahead and get your uh, get yourself a little snack. But yeah, so we'll be going back out to the village, and we're also going to uh, do some more downtown. See them reap. We're going to be handing out some food there. If we don't go out to the village tomorrow, we'll be going downtown tomorrow. And Sengai will be cooking and uh, we'll be passing out 
some food. We hear about eight o'clock at night, there's a certain area where there's always a bunch of uh, homeless kids. And uh, we've been looking for them. They are sometimes very well hidden. So we'll go out there and find them. Don't know what this place is. Just noticed it now. Looks like they have some nice things here though. Nice wooden beads and bracelets. Things made out of wood. Hello. 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 Oh yeah. Carvings and things. Very nice. Very nice. This is at a uh, speed play place. Let me turn around and show you. So if you see, if you're interested in anything like that, you see the sign. The shop is right underneath. I like finding new things like that. That's why I like walking. to go across the street. Just gonna stop and uh, get a coffee. I'll talk to you guys uh, later. Alright, I guess we're going up to the uh, old market, Satchel? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the way we if uh, we go from our new apartment, if you remember before, our old apartment, we would take uh, the walk down by the river and across the bridge, but we're already on the other side of the bridge here, so no need for that. I have a coffee in one hand and I put away my uh, gimbal in my backpack until we get down there so this portion might be a little shaky. Just wanted to let you know in advance. But they have a lot of uh, hostels and apartments and things down this uh, little, little lane here. There's a cozy cloud backpackers hostel. They have a place back there in an apartment complex called the Creative Residence. And uh, as you can imagine, it's for artistic types, writers, painters, musicians. And the prices, from what I see on their Facebook page, are very, very good for those Western style apartments. And you get to hang out with other creative types if you want to. It's all uh, foreigners, it's all Barangs in there from what I've seen. And even though I have nothing against that, it's just not for me. I like a more local vibe. But it is available if you are looking for something with more foreigners to hang out with, make new friends. It would be a place I'd recommend if somebody were looking for that type of uh, place. Happy Ponchos. So it's Mexican and Western food. Hello. New kind of energy drink, I guess. Works. Okay. 
and we have more music up here so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to shut this off again unfortunately <clears throat> well you can't get past the music here that's for sure I've documented that before there's a uh, there are businesses that always try to play the music really really loud trying to draw customers in and uh, you just got to be careful of it in the uh, in the video this is called the laughing hyena all right we got past that <laughs> Yeah. There's something here, some graffiti. This looks like an old storage area. Yep, this is our view on the way to the old market from from our apartment. Hello. <laughs> More chickens, of course. Nice, peaceful looking garden area in the back of these apartments. Lots of shade, planted some trees. Looks pretty nice. This is the back entrance to the uh, Anchor Night Market. They do not open until 5 o'clock, and I believe they might not be open at all right now. I haven't really been down here much after after that, because hey, that's when I that's when I do my uh, stuff. Got lesson plans and uh, teaching online to do. But it's not that far away. We can come down here and check it out one night and uh, we'll see if uh, it is open or closed because of the virus. Nothing looks busy. <laughs> huh? Do what? I don't know what you got. What what is that? Sadako cap. Sadako? Yeah. Oh. Sadako. Yeah, but if somebody knows that the Anchor Night Market is open or we're just not down here at the proper time, let me know. Because I will come down here and check it out if it's still open. Doesn't appear to be, though. That's a shame. This is the oldest market in CM Reap. <coughs> All those stalls, stalls independently run by different families. And it'd be a shame if they all had to close down. And I do get people uh, asking uh, about the schools here and, uh, you know, they want to come here really bad and they want to teach. And I know a lot of people who have had their travel plans completely destroyed because of uh, the virus. I mean, if you if you have the money saved and you can ride, 
ride it through financially until things get back to semi-normal. And I would say by all means, come on by, come on over. But don't uh, expect to find a teaching job uh, readily as you normally would because there's still no official word yet on when the schools are reopening. I've heard different months talked about, but they, they keep getting pushed back. Because at first it was only supposed to be for a month. <laughs> and yet they're still closed. And I know I get, you know, I got a, a message from someone who really, really wants to move here. He's very uh, unhappy with the way things are going where he's from. But you also have to keep in mind that new uh, three thousand dollar entry fee. Well, not an entry fee. It's a COVID nineteen deposit that will pay for your quarantined room for two weeks, all your testing, all your food while you're in quarantine, and an extra fifteen hundred dollars should you die for your cremation <laughs> expenses now jeremy and claire of the channel for real they have a really good video about this they know a lot more about that situation than i do so go check out their channel and video is listed down below but for the sake of this video i just want to say that you can expect that extra three thousand dollars that's on top of the uh fifty thousand dollar mandatory proof of insurance health insurance but yeah the price tag did go up to uh, come here but right now it is what it is but like I said if you have the financial resources to afford all that and can ride out maybe six to eight months here before you find a job I would still say come on over you can see things you're likely not to see again perhaps like a uh, Angkor Wat with no tourists. You can go see all those little temples. Everything, prices are going down on a lot of things. So you can find an apartment really, really cheap. A really nice apartment that would normally be 300. Some of them are dropping down to as low as 150, you know, 50% off. <clears throat> because they need occupants. They need to make some money. So the cost of living here while you ride this out is still going to be way cheaper than anywhere back in the West. But on the other hand, you won't be making any income, at least from teaching, unless you teach online. So you'll have to do some financial uh, budgeting, figuring out the how much you'll need. And once you got that figured out, I would say, uh, don't double it, but add extra. It's always better, I think, to be safe and think and have more than what you need than find out you don't have enough. Because something went wrong and you figured, figured it out incorrectly. So I'm not trying to discourage anyone from coming over here. But when people message me on uh, Instagram or you know Facebook and ask me about the teaching situation and if I think they should come over here now, I tell them the same thing. Don't plan on getting a job, be sure you have the finances and then add extra to that just in case. Right, we're down here now by Pulp Street, as you see. Oh yeah, not a not a bad little walk. The old market is right up the way there. It's 
still always weird for me to see Pub Street like this. It should be, there should be tuk-tuks waiting all over. That restaurant right there should be open and throwing flames in the air with their uh, grills. People should be down here right now and half of them should already be drunk. <laughs> when it's during normal times, that's what happens every night. Right, don't forget to check out all my links down below. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we uh, provide free education for anybody that wants to learn English. We go out, we feed uh, hungry people when we can. We sponsor part of a village in the countryside. And we do all that because of you and your donations. Seriously, that's where the money goes. If you send a donation and say, feed some kids with this, that's what we'll do. If you say, I want you to feed some animals, that's what we'll do. If you want to say, if you want to donate and say, use this for whatever you want, then I will put that in the education fund because that's where my money comes from. I teach, I, people donate to pay what would be the tuition for the students instead of them having to pay. I can teach for free and I can still pay my rent and all that good stuff. So every donation matters and if you donate through PayPal, join my Patreon or buymeacoffee.com and all those links are down below. You be put on my list, you'll receive exclusive videos, pictures, updates and more. that other people don't get to see. And I'll also, also send you a copy of my book. There's people vlogging here in Cambodia. They have some really good channels, really great content. Those links are down below. Be sure to check them out, give them a like and a subscribe as well. you find all the information you need. If not for me, from one of the other ones, I'm sure. And all my social media is down below, so if you want to hook up with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just clicky on the linkies. And uh, we'll do it that way. I also have other stuff down below, so just check it all out. Alright. We're almost there to the old market. It's right up here, as you can see. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one.